So let's start by looking back at Tuesday night in Salford, and obviously we heard what you had to say afterwards, but in hindsight, how did you see that game? Well, I've calmed down a fair bit. Um, it, it, it's, it's difficult when you, you're watching a team, as, you know, and I thought we were really good the other night in an attacking sense. We, we threatened so much going forward, created a lot of chances and, and passed the ball as well as I've seen us. Um, but we've lost the game, so I was frustrated um, because I think my own expectations have gone up because of the performance level of the players. So you can get disappointed so much quicker when the expectations are high. But um, I've settled a bit and, and you know we've looked through not just the goals that we conceded the other night, but the goals are all through this season. Uh, and you know we're, we're looking to develop our players and, and we're looking to develop as well. And it's easy to shoot from the hip at the time, but you know what can we do to improve uh, ourselves and our back line? And, and I think they've all got the right ingredients and the main ingredient is attitude. And um, there's one or two things that are occurring that we've got the ability to improve. So what have you done to try and improve that obviously quite a short turnaround between matches? Yeah, I mean, obviously yesterday was a day off and, and, and today was just a little bit, we, we don't get them in too much to do it, much video analysis, but we've analysed it, it and broken down the goals from the other night and like I said already, the, the goals that where we could have done something about it. But I think overall, you know, I think if we can get the distances between the defenders better and the communication uh, better, then... Um, we stand a chance of denying the opposition um, opportunities to create chances and score um, goals against us and um, just a bit more on the organisation which falls at my door um, and um, we'll be working on something basic tomorrow uh, in order to just make us a little bit more compact in our shape. You've obviously picked out the defence defensive frailties, maybe too harsh a way of putting it on, on Tuesday night after the match. Is it something that you've been thinking about for a while, been bothering you for a while? Uh, perhaps because you look at the, the top six, we, we've conceded more goals. Um, and to say that, it sounds a bit cocky saying we dominate most games, but we have our lion's share of possession and, and we're in the ascendancy a fair bit. So. Um, there's a slight concern that if we are in the ascendancy, we're still conceding goals. And what can we do about it? Well, sometimes a, a life as a defender is quite difficult when you are looking at the ball in the opposite half, and there can be moments where um, there can be a lapse of concentration um, and teams to counter attack, or there, there's, there's suddenly a set piece against us and we've switched off. And that's happened a few times. But I think it's a collective responsibility. And, um, as much at my door than anyone, you know, as an individual, we're going, right, okay, we've said it, now we've got to put it into action and, and try and improve the practices and, and make sure that um, we're well drilled. And no complacency, I guess, against Maidenhead, obviously quite low in the table, looking back at the results of Dunwell against Sutton and Eversfleet, both teams much higher than them in the table. So is complacency something that you want to guard against as well? Um, there should, shouldn't be complacency. I mean, they had a great win at Sutton last week and they're they're a good strong outfit as are any at, at this level and one thing when we talked about the defensive aspect that we're not taken by surprise now if if someone's beaten you say a fullback's beaten the cut inside and smash it in the top corner it's happened a number of times that so that's why we have to get those distances and disciplines right at the back to help each other out and our teammates out in if someone's got the skill to beat someone else so um They've got their their attacking threats, you know, and we know that we um, we won't be complacent. And I don't think anyone watching us thinks think that complacency or any negative attitude is an obstacle that we have to overcome. And I'm guessing because of those results, you'll be coming up against a confident side. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, you know, they, they had a, an equaliser in the dying few minutes from a substitute the other day with a dramatic. Um, uh, goal in the in the closing stages through a direct free kick. So they've got moments in them, that, you know, as we have, and we had a spectacular couple of goals last weekend for us. So we've just got to make sure that you know we're solid, but it doesn't mean saying that we have to st stop our way of playing, which is attack minded and, and having a really good goal. You've spoken before, haven't you, about keeping that belief in what you do and, and not having the knee jerk reactions and, and mm. making wholesale changes. No, I know, I know, and. Um, I'm red-headed and sometimes that, that means that I can be, uh, I'm really passionate after games and that's a nice way of putting it, I suppose, passionate, but, um, uh, you know, I, I'll make my point uh, in a passionate way 
uh, because I'm hurting because we've lost the game and I don't want to be known as having a, an entertaining side but being nearly men and I don't want these boys either because they're, they're brilliant to work with. So let's look at your team firstly, Joe Leesley back for the weekend? Yeah that's right and um, they're coming straight back into the lineup. Um, he's a player obviously it's um, it's got a lot of credibility in the bank with his performances, has stepped up a notch and signed his new deal recently and he's just looking forward to every game. And are you thinking of making any changes? How much faith will you will you leave with the players that played on Tuesday? Well, a lot of faith because it's just those isolated mo moments where um, we've lacked a bit of concentration and we've conceded goals, but it's um, you know all the individuals and ingredients are there to go on a, a really good run now. We've just got to carry out the and stick to the rules in the game. Um, there'll be one change, obviously Jordan, Jordan missing out, but we've spoken to the player and as we spoke to him last week, he's keen to go and get some games because he's just come back from injury. He got thrown in right in the at Lions Den uh, the other night and did ever so well and was it was a threat. Um, but he's keen on getting some games, which I, I think he's right to do so. Um, which opens up a, a place on the bench and Aaron Williams comes then back into the squad and it, it's nice and tight again with the, just 16 travelling. And that must be quite a nice attitude to have the players that, that aren't getting a game still desperate to play and not mm. taking the bat home for one of a better expression there. No, no, but it, it is difficult. You know, I, I've taken my bat home a few times when I've not <laughs> been involved because you, you feel that you, your self-esteem gets taken a, a, bit, a bit of a knocking and, you know, when you're left out with... Um, Nothing I can say. I feel better work that I can share my opinion with a player, um, but nothing I can really say will make it better. All I can try and do is um, make people feel that you know I've got responsibility to give them an opportunity at some stage, and and if they can just keep that strong mindset and train hard, then that opportunity will happen. And it's also the, the players who've got the shirts at the minute have to be right on it. And in the forwards instance, I'm a bit spoiled for choice at the minute. We've got some really good lads out there. Um, Dominic Knowles has returned. He's played such a, an important role in our promotion and our, our good season so far. Um, Michael Woods just signed and he, he got off to a bang. We've got uh, Mark Beck who's laid on four goals in the last two games. Um, it's impossible to keep everyone happy, but I hope all players will, will see that they're treated with respect from, from the coaching staff. and. Hopefully, with that, we get a buy-in. And finally, just to ask about Dominic Knowles, which I seem to ask about him every week at the moment, but you mentioned him there. How close is he? We've trained really well today, uh, blowing a bit because of um, lack of time on the training pitch, but as soon as he came on the other night, um, he was a pain for them with his, his deft touches and his ability in that final third. Um, he'll be um, he'll be making up the bench you know, on Saturday and be looking to put pressure on the, those in the starting eleven.